Uh, Kevin, how are you assessing this cat and mouse game that the hackers are playing? I mean, they were kicked off Twitter and Facebook. Now we're seeing them reappear on Twitter under a different name. Well, I think cat and mouse is exactly the way to call it because it's, it's interesting to point out it's not just the supporters of WikiLeaks but also some opponents that have been launching cyber attacks, these denial of service attacks over the last few weeks. So it's definitely a cyber world where people are taking sides and, and putting their computers where their alliances are. I mean, WikiLeaks has had the rug pulled from under it in the conventional sense, yet there seems to be this growing support base for them in, cyber, uh, in cyberspace. Why is that? Well, there are a lot of people in, uh, online who believe very, very strongly in freedom of speech and believe that WikiLeaks is a human rights organization, a journalistic organization, and needs to be defended. So now they've switched from using PayPal to a service called DataCell, and DataCell says that it is helping uh, supporters of WikiLeaks to contribute directly from their bank accounts. And of course, yesterday we saw these hacker attacks against MasterCard and Visa. The activist group Anonymous has vowed to intensify its cyber attacks. Can we expect to see much more of these cyber wars? Uh, we have for actually the last 10 years. I mean, even in 2001, Israeli and Pakistani hackers um, defaced websites uh, over the political situation in the Middle East. So this is not something that's terribly new, but I think the volume uh, and especially the commercial targets that we're seeing now um, in, in regards to a political event, this is something that is new. And that's interesting uh, in terms of that point you made, in terms of the political fallout, the political impact. I mean, uh, because we saw the websites of U.S. politicians Sarah Palin and Joe Lieberman attacked as well. I mean, is the political impact of this likely to get bigger as these cyber wars continue over this whole WikiLeaks issue? Already, I mean, it, as you point out, the list is growing longer. The um, uh, lawyer in Sweden who's uh, helping the two women who have accused Assange, um, his, his uh, website has been targeted. The Swedish prosecutor's website is targeted. So I think that we're going to see an increasing list of uh, sites being targeted over the next few days. And Kevin, just finally, we know that Julian Assange is now being held in London. Do you think he's very much becoming a cause celeb, particularly amongst the cyber community? Uh, becoming, I think, became, uh, and, and, and we'll, it'll be interesting to see what the next steps are. Now, the anonymous group has said that they're not targeting uh, MasterCard's payment systems because they don't want to interfere with normal Internet service, but uh, it will be interesting to see what the next target is. Okay. Kevin Anderson in Doha. Thank you, Kevin.